Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. This is a different kind of video. It's really unplanned. I just got, what is today? Today's August 31st. Um, August 31st or September 1. I don't know. <laughs> it's Labor Day weekend. It's Saturday of Labor Day weekend in 2019 and I just received the biggest, best, classic Spydeco mail call ever. It feels like Christmas. And I was sitting here thinking about what I would do. I posted, I just posted Instagram two minutes ago and I said I wanted to share it with the Keith Kevin Ken family on YouTube. I'm gonna walk through these knives. Some of these knives I've already posted because I used to own them. Um, and I sold them as I trimmed down my collection. And one reason, I'm going to do some trimmings later on, and one reason I've been stalling is I went over about it the wrong way last time. Every time I did a trimming, I thought, what knives can I sell? What I should have been thinking about is, what knives do I want to keep? <laughs> and so I've been spending a lot of time buying back knives that are already trimmed <laughs> because I miss them so much and I never thought that would be possible. So I, got, I have a lot of those knives in here. I won't do a... a knife of the day of these knives because I've already done them but I want to talk about them as they lay on the on the counter and then there's several knives that I've dreamed of holding in my hands and I never had to and I've touched most Spydeco knives uh, the classics and the moderns but so let's talk about what I have here okay first of all when I say trimming I do sales to this channel every now and then of my collection and I have <laughs> regretted selling this for I don't know how long this is the Spydeco Sage 4 um, this is and I'm not going to go in depth on any of these knives I will later on as we go forward I'll do a complete um, sage collection now that i have the complete sage collection this became a very limited knife because no one wanted it because it was heavy with the wood it's a back lock that people didn't want and this has become very expensive knife it was hard to find this knife i stumbled but i wanted it back and i finally have it back uh, i stumbled across a collector who has, and I'm not going to give you the name, because <laughs> I still have some knives I want to buy, more knives, who sold knives to me, and, and they are the market value. I didn't get a super deal on them, but they are super brand new, right out of the box. Some of them still have the original oil on them. Um, it's so great opening them up. Nicest people ever. Um, and so I've, I've got this market price nowadays on YouTube and stuff, they're overpriced. And so I just never got it back. I do now. Um, I also sold the Sage one. And the reason was I looked at my knives and said, I have to keep my titanium Sage two. And of course, I wanted to keep the Sage 5 with the compression lock. But now with the talk of a brand new lightweight Sage 5 coming out pretty soon, I miss not having this mini collection. And so they also had the Sage 1. Again, these are so brand new. The knives that I sell you guys have never been used they sit in my Pel one of my Pelican cases. These have sat in the boxes in the plastic for all these years. But I did get the Sage 1, I had the Sage 4, and yes, I had both of the Sage 3s. 
Um, but I bought back the Blue G10, the original Sage 3, so I'm happy. So now I have one through five and I'm waiting for that lightweight Sage 5 that should be coming out. They were hoping to have that released by Labor Day. That's not going to happen. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so, they'll release the Sage 5 lightweight and the Police 4 lightweight. I've been waiting for these knives from Spydeco. So hopefully I'll have a new completion to this uh, collection. Now that I have my three babies back, I was lucky enough also to own two dodos. I had the carbon fiber and the orange dodo. And look at this. This is the original oil that is still wiping. Um, look, I have a problem. I'm a huge collector. I love collecting knives. I know there are people who say, use, use, use. Some of these knives, if you had them in your hand and you wanted to hard use them, that would be crazy. Buy a knife that, for your hard use. But these knives, you know, I turned 60 a couple of months ago. And now I'm trying to get the collection of knives that I want when I retire for the long haul as I start the final trimming down, probably will be three sales um, to this channel of my knives as I get down to the knives that I wanna keep. Um, and I also purchased the blue with uh, a serrated edge. So now you see that these are the three that exist now. One reason I wanted my two back and the extra one, all three of them, is because they mentioned Blade HQ gave a sneak preview of the M4, CPM M4, with the natural G10 version that'll be coming out pretty soon. We don't know when. So I wanted the originals, and these are original, brand new. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Just opening up boxes on a Saturday. This is the weekend that they're having the USN gathering in Vegas. And I have, I follow so many knife folks on Instagram and YouTube. And it's been so horrible not being there and seeing all the knives that I'll never own. And some of the knives, some of the knife makers like Chris Reeve and stuff with their special knives that I won't own. And I'm so happy to get this box of wonders. Um, so I have these three, the carbon fiber, two G10s, um, the orange and the blue, serrated edge on the blue that I can't wait. I'll do a knife of the day of the blue. I'll also do a total collection uh, of these dodos. And then <laughs> the people I bought all these knives from, they were so great. <laughs> they threw in three dodo pins that they had. I own none of these pins. I think Spydeco always has a pin at one of the, is it at Blade Show or something? So here's the classic Dodo pins and there's three of them that they threw in. By the way, I had to open up the little plastic baggies that those came in to pull them out for you. Again, brand new. Let's see, talked about one, Sage One. There is just something I love about the Des Horn. And again, one of you have this. I trimmed this knife. And again, it was looking at my collection and saying, you know, which knives can I sell? To get, you know, I needed to make room for all the new knives I was going to get. And I sold it and I missed it. I never thought I'd miss it when I started collecting. I used to see YouTube videos of people saying, Whoa, this is the fourth time I have this knife. 
This is the same. And I was like, this is insane. Just keep it. But now I understand. So I'm so happy to have my Des Horn back. There is a video on the Des Horn on Sage 1, 3, um, and 4 already up on my channel, Knife of the Day. So, so go check them out. And two of these three dodos also have one. Let's see, I'm trying to save some of the ones that just make me want to cry when I picked them up. <laughs> yes, a grown man, tough grown man, wanting to cry. That's how much. Oh, my chokery. <sighs> so what happens is after I do these trimmings and I'm going and I'm looking at what I'm going to carry, I'm looking at videos I'm going to do, and I go in my cases and I look for a knife and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I sold it. By the way, thank you for participating in the trimmings. I want you to participate in the next one. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to turn on your notifications. When I do the sale, there's, it's a quick turnaround and I'll announce it, but you have to, you know, you have to be part of that family because the knives go real quick. So the Chakwi is part of the Spyderco ethnic series. I have a video on this knife and I'm so happy to have it back. I really am, especially new, brand new. So that's the Chokwi. I'm getting close to the stuff that made me almost cry. <laughs> it's like visiting Knife Church for some of these. Let's see. Okay. I've talked, I did a video on the spider wrench uh, and that one got so many people asking about it I actually have a spider wrench right here and I've never even thought about selling it everyone wants one you can find these and boy are they expensive um, this one had I bought it but it had been used a very good you know multi-tool I think it's one of the greatest <laughs> tools that Spyderco has ever made. They hired an aero, uh, what is that? Uh, an aviation uh, uh, mechanic, um, aerospace mechanic, not mechanic, uh, engineer, an aerospace engineer to help them design it. It's a wonderful package as their multi-tool. And I've always wanted to get a brand new one. And I had a chance to do it. It's interesting. This has a USA on it. This one doesn't. Um, but it does have the collector's <laughs> number on it. Um, so we know it's a re it is real. So is this one. I mean, look, if someone faked the spider wrench, good. I'm happy to have the fake. No one could fake this thing. Look at my review on it. I'll do another talk i want to do a talk because i just bought this letterman the leatherman free p4 and there are people who know everything about leatherman i don't know anything but i wanted one again i have a dream of having a van traveling around smoking great cigars from local cigar shops shopping at local knife shops and eating at local restaurants all around the country i'm going to do that by the way and you'll be able to see it on youtube but when i bought this knowing i didn't know a lot i wanted to also talk about the spyderco one now i have two of them <laughs> and of course let's see my desk is so messy i also have these clippets from spyderco and I remember Eric Glesser, the son of uh, the founder, Saul Glesser, when he talked about these, um, that something else was in the works. I'm hoping they're looking at doing another multi-tool. Um, I wish they would re-release this, you know? as a sprint run. Someone, a lot of people said that in the comments when I did my review of it or as a knife of the day. I wish they did a sprint run. I don't know what you could do special with it, but I wish they bring it back. 
but I'm happy. I have a brand new one that still has oil on it. <laughs> I, I had to rip open the plastic bag with instructions. I didn't have the instructions for the other one. So I am so thrilled to have two of them. So I don't know what I'm going to do right now in my mind, please not in the comments say, you're going to sell these. I'm so happy to have them. I'm not thinking about selling them right now. I'll think about selling later, but that's why I've been, it's taken me so long to start doing all summer. I've been telling you I'm going to do trimming and I haven't because I'm trying to figure out which knives I really want to keep. And look at this pin. It's as complicated as the spider, the spider wrench is itself. What a wonderful classic pin. These pins sometimes go for a whole lot of money and they threw this in and I'm so happy they did. Look at that. All right. Those are the knives that I received that I wanted back. So the majority of these, I'm just happy to have them back in my collection and I'll be doing series videos and stuff on those. Having them out of my sight, it made me love them even more. But I will do, out of all these that I've talked about already, I will do a, um, a dodo. Again, I do the knives of the day for me to track which knives have come through my collection. So I will do that one later. Now let's talk about the ones. <sighs> um, I know I sound like a kid. That's what I meant by it feels like Christmas, and I wanted to share this uh, with you. I had a polywog, okay? This is a Spydeco polywog. Yeah, sometimes people say, yes, this is by Eric Glesser. Eric Glesser, uh, the son, is really a good knife designer, just like his father, Sal. A lot of these small or even bigger knives they, that we all come to love, he designed. This is a Eric Glasser design. Um, I own this, but it was blank G10, and I did trim it. I sold it. Oh, by the way, what I sold those knives for were super great prices, and I'm so happy that you guys have them. I usually prefer carbon fiber or G10 or, or even FRN to the stainless steel bodies. I just do for the most part. But I, I think the stainless steel polywog is a lot more interesting because when you have the black G10, and you can look at my review of that, I'll do one of this too. When you look at the G10 version, it doesn't have all of the holes and everything. <laughs> in the scales that give it so much character. So I want to talk about that. You can see that they've had the wire clip for a long time with Spydeco. I could even go back to a lot of my classic knives that I have uh, from when they first started. 20, 30 years ago they had this clip. It's just come, become so popular lately. I love it. But we'll talk about the polywog. I'm so happy to finally have the stainless steel. I just peeled off. <laughs> when they send a stainless steel new, they usually have a cover over the stainless steel. I just peeled that off and wiped it down. <laughs> I was going to show it to you with the stainless steel cover. Uh, I mean, with the cover still on it. That's how new these are. Oh, I'm so happy to have the stainless steel. I find it hard to find them at a good price. And yes, the mini me version was one of the five <laughs> little pins that they gave me. Isn't even the pin is so intricate and nice. Ugh. I never collected the pins. I'm not going to collect the pins, um, but I'm happy to have those for this collection. It was such a wonderful add on. Uh, you know, it's not every day. They get to sell these this many classical knives, but I'm so happy that I was able, fortunate enough to do it. Now, okay, here's another one that I had and I've sold. This is the Spidey Fly. 
It's the Bala song. Um, titanium handles. Eric again designed this one. Uh, I had this and a small fry. They didn't have the small fly, but I I had the large this this one right here, the Bala song, uh, the spider fly, and the other one. And of course, I trimmed it. One of you have it. Keep it. <laughs> Um, but I got a new one. I, I missed having this. So I did have this one before. Okay. But I never had this one. <sighs> when I asked them did they have this, I gave them a list of knives that I'd love to see. Brand new, by the way. I mean, the Zabble? <laughs> I mean, I... I, 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 I the Zabble Fly by Lacey Zabble. Oh my goodness. I keep seeing, I, I, I'll, I'll see that. I also collect the Spydeco. I have collected all of the Spydeco back catalogs. So when I found someone who had a big collection, I went through those catalogs to see which knives I never had or don't own. And, but I've seen this pop up and could never see it. I think there's also like a rainbow version that I'd love to see. Maybe I'll ask them. I'm not going to tell you where I got these from. If they want to, great. Um, because I still have some I want to buy. And I'm, I'm greedy, guys. Uh, I love this. To have this in my hand is super special. Um, I will do a knife of the day on this but to have these two together the Bala songs are great of course since Spydeco had all those troubles with the feds with you know knives you don't see them doing Bala songs I think they have one but they only sell it overseas and all of that so we'll talk about that <sighs> hold on let me catch my breath and I kind of did these in order uh, Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I actually have the lightweight of this knife, the Des Horn. Um, and uh, I've wanted, they have another one, uh, original, that has carbon fiber and like a blue, I don't know if it's titanium or whatever at the pivot. I have, I've seen one that was like so outrageously priced. Um, I haven't seen another one. And they didn't have it, but they did have this. A sprint run of the Des Horn. Oh my goodness. And uh, I was so thrilled. Not the Des Horn. Why do I keep saying the Des Horn? Sorry, guys. I told you. I told you, didn't I? I told you that uh, I was free willing. This is the Michael Walker. Sorry, the Michael Walker. Everything I said was true. I don't know why I said Des Horn. Of course, there's the Des Horn. This is the Michael Walker. Michael Walker actually is... Uh, the, the person behind the Sage won. Because while there was a liner lock, he created the better liner lock that we use today, the modern liner lock. And so the first Sage knife was after Michael Walker. This is a sprint run Michael Walker. Brand new, I mean, right out of the box with ZDP um eight you know uh 189 is it what zdp and oh my goodness gracious yeah 189 <sighs> brand new right out of the box i never thought i'd have one of these in my hand and i do right now we'll do a knife of the day of that and then at the end this strange thing here <laughs> sound like the joker right oh i'm a kid again ah. 
I love the bushcraft knives from Spyderco. In fact, the bushcraft knife with that wonderful smooth G10 is one of my favorite fixed knives. When I bought it, I knew that would go into the van with me. And then later they came out with a knife like the bushcraft, but not made for bushcraft people, the proficient. Isn't it proficient? I don't have notes on me, but, and it had the same fat handle, but it was this wonderful carbon fiber. Um, and then the blade was full flat ground blade, which is so great. You know, when you do a bushcraft knife, and we'll talk about this more. Like I said, I, I'll go into it because I'm gonna do the knife of the day. Um, but you know, with a bushcraft knife, you have that high carbon knife that's not stainless, I mean blade that's not stainless steel with the Scandi grind. This has this, this steel is in a vacuum packed <laughs> plastic covering with the cover over <laughs> the blade and then another cardboard. This is how it went in. The sheath is still in the plastic, not opened. And the reason that is, as uh, Sal Glesser wrote, <laughs> is that this is the original, by the way, the original Bushcraft knife. He went to Bushcraft experts to design it. It is the design that the G10 version is. You can see the G10 version. It's on my knife of the day. I really love it. And I'll, I'll, we'll do bushcraft, you know, we'll do the three knives, a proficient, which really isn't a bushcraft knife, but a wonderful fixed blade. The bushcraft with the G10. And then this, I've seen pictures of it. There's a couple of YouTube videos that you can see that are on it. And the reason it is covered up like this is, the Spyderco sent this out. This is spalted maple burl. And when you see it, it's so beautiful. The wood is just, look at it, so beautiful. But they really didn't stabilize the wood. And so he sent this sow, sent it out to the collector's club and everyone else wrapped up with boiled linseed oil. I didn't know all of this. I saw one of these and I wanted to buy it on YouTube and someone said, it's wrapped up in boiled linseed. And I'm like, what kind of witch doctory stuff are you doing? But because it's not as stabilized as it should be. Now Sal in the letter said they did stabilize it, but what happened is this wood cracks easily. This one is not cracked as I can see it, it's still wrapped. But after you wipe it off, the environment just cracks it. And so most of the ones that you see available, even the YouTube videos you'll see, a lot of them, if you look, they are seconds. Most of these that were made, Spyderco had to sell them as seconds, you know, highly discounted, etc., because it develops cracks. This one made too. Um, usually around, you know, around right here and little micro cracks throughout the wood. I just picked this up today. I'm keeping it in here, uh, but I will do a knife of the day and I'll take it out and take off all of the stuff and, and show it to you. It is the most beautiful wood. And again, thick, fits your hand. So we'll talk about that. I'm slurping over this. I, for me as a collector, to find one that's brand new, never opened, still wrapped up with Sal's message, just makes me happy. But we'll clean it up and show it to you. That's it. I know it's a 30 minute video. Most of you have dodged out a lot of people may criticize me for it, but you know what? I'm just sharing it with you 
that's what this community is about. I'm thrilled to be a part of this. I collect spiticles because there's so many different knives. And when you're like me and you pretty much have been lucky enough to at least own most of them, to get the ones that you missed back and to find this and that and this and the walker, my goodness gracious, I'm just thrilled. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, I will be trimming my collection once I settle in and decide what I want to sell. It'll be most of the collection. I think I'll be showing you a lot of classic knives because you don't see those. I don't carry them a lot. Um, and so you don't see the videos of those. They are on the knives of the day and that's part of a playlist that you can enjoy. Hey, I appreciate you guys so much. You know how much I appreciate you that on Christmas I wanted to include you in. Um, <laughs> subscribe, turn on your notifications, and take good care of yourselves. Hey, spend some time. I'm doing it this weekend. Even though I'm talking to you on social media, turn off your social media. It doesn't have to be all day. I know it's a part of our lives now, but... Spend some time um, over this long weekend to just settle in, okay? And uh, think about yourself. It's hard sometimes, but you really need it. It makes you feel a lot healthier. If any of you are in the Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina area, when the hurricane's coming through, if you're watching this real time, I hope you find a safe space spot and you and yours are safe i wish you all the best keep those pockets full ho 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 merry christmas